Ladies and gentlemen, once again, it's time for the Rob Corley Show. And now, here he is. It's Rob Corley. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to the Rob Corley Show. My name is Rob Corley, but you already knew that because it's in the title. All right, since we've already cleared that up, moving right along here. So, did you guys hear that a new life-size movie is coming out? Uh, you know the life-size movie about uh, the uh, Barbie-like doll? But it's not actually a Barbie doll. It's more like a doll that looks like it could be Barbie, but it's not. The doll's name is actually Eve. So... And it's a movie about how this girl makes a, does some type of magical spell and uh, to try to bring her mom back because her mom passed away. And uh, she's trying to do some type of spell to try to get her back. And uh, instead, she ends up bringing um, her, mat, her uh, toy doll to life. And the doll becomes a real life person and she starts going around doing all the things with um, I guess you could say uh, her owner or what, whoever or her friend who she sees as her friend but uh, she has a limited amount of time before she she really has to go back and uh, they form a friendship Eve and uh, uh, Casey, the girl's name, I think. Yeah. But, well, you know that movie. Well, they made a sequel to that, which uh, it's, it's more like a, I'd say a rebirth of it, because we don't really see any of the original characters except for Eve. But in this one it's not really Eve it's not it's not the same Eve that was in the original one I mean it is Eve but it's not Eve Eve if you know what I mean so um, this this time it's a Christmas movie or it takes place around Christmas time and uh, this girl who is an executive of a I think it's a toy factory or a toy or a company that makes toys or who makes the Eve dolls so she's in trouble I think like uh, some type of financial trouble or something and the company needs help or it's gonna um, shut down the operation of making all the Eve dolls so her the Eve doll that comes back is actually her own doll that she had as a child and um, from there the adventures start they go around they meet her friends the girl I mean Eve meets her friends they hang out but they don't really know, they don't know that she's a doll at first because at first when they first meet her they think she's a real person but she talks like she's discovering all these things for the first time so it, it, it's a sort of a I'm meeting you for the first time but I don't know you're a doll that, but you're an inanimate object that came to life so they don't they don't really understand what why Eve is so fascinated by everything that she is coming in contact with because she has never really done it before I mean she's seen all of these things through the eyes of uh, her her person her friend that she was with all of her life growing up as a child but she's never really experienced them for real 
outside of that sort of make-believe type world so but uh, somehow no wait I'm not gonna tell you that because that would be giving away the whole thing and I don't want to do that so I'm not gonna do that but uh, we're gonna take a break and after the break we're going to do Rob's trivia so stick around for that now uh, what can I do now should I go talk to some people okay okay we're back uh, it's time for Rob's trivia and tonight's trivia is related to what I was just talking about before the break so we were talking about the life-size 2 movie that just came out it this is the year 2018 it came out this year so my question to you uh, well life-size the original life-size movie uh, came out years ago before this one so my question to you is what year did the the original life-size movie come out <clears throat> excuse me again the question that I'm asking you folks at home out there oh I can't talk today um, in what year did the original life-size movie premiere so whoever answers that question correctly first will get a shout out well, how about that? Shout out by Rob. <laughs> now, I want to show you something. I want to show you something that Hot Wheels has developed. Hot Wheels, you know, the car company that makes all the toy cars, is celebrating 50 years uh, this year. And I didn't really know that until I was in the store and I saw they had their cars, their model cars out, and they said a big 50 on it so and established in 1968 so I thought oh they must be 50 years old so here's something I found in one of the stores and decided to pick it up um, you see this this is what Hot Wheels has developed in the last year or so this is a toy model of a uh, shopping cart you know the carts that you use in a grocery store or at a supermarket or somewhere other type of retail store well this is their version of it it is kinda open right here so it's not really much room for you to put stuff in and it looks like a car that's that's see it has the famous Hot Wheel wheels right here and um, it's got a back and um, it says aisle driver see right there aisle driver yeah that's that is and that's not all they've also developed come up with somebody who can actually ride on it they, they call them um, figure men I guess which you can they have these two things on their hands kind of like Legos that they can clamp on see these you can kind of clamp them on and uh, they just sort of goes back like this and let's pretend that this guy can fly with this cart oh he's flying there's no track here let's see is he gonna land on my hand yeah you got there safe well, there he is all right now that we've done that we're gonna take another break we'll be back in a minute hey welcome back everybody 
I hear that Rough Rough Man is standing by uh, with something to show us. So, um, we're gonna take it over to Rough. See what he's up to. My toy plushie is stuck on the penguin's ice. Help me get it out. Okay. With a hole in the ice? Okay, let's move this down here. Uh. The plushie didn't make it. Ready to try to push your plushie, Ruffy. Bouncing off. Oh, it's got to hit that target, though. You can though. move the cannon to get a better shot. Great. Okay, let's try it this way. I wonder if more force would do it. Probably. All right, bouncing off. No. Nope. Try moving the slider. Let's try this. That looks oh so close. You may need to move the cannon. Yep, we might have to do that, Ruff. Let's see. Ah, oh, she didn't make it. Still not close. Let's try this. That should work. Oh, stop! Oh, oh! Oh, almost! Too much force. Oh, the plushie went past the target. Too much force. Let's bring it down a little bit. You like that noise it makes? Hits the star, it goes in the target. Yes! Off the wall! Try another one. All right. Tap next to Some penguins can move. Oh, that's we could do I better than that. More force would do it. Not quite. You could move the cannon to get a better shot. Oh, close, one. close, close. Was that the right amount of force? Probably not. Let's move it down a little bit. That should do it. Ah. That counts. Oh, is that a Prediction target? Time. Predicting is guessing what will happen. Okay. Tap on the ice to put a target where you think the plushie will land. Oh, should land right here, I hope. <coughs> Looks like it's going to bullseye. Just as you predicted. Woohoo! You're really getting this. Prediction time. Again? All right. Predicting is saying what is going to happen before it happens. Tap on all of the stars you think the plushie will hit. Mm. These two. Let's see. Yep, I was right. It matched your prediction. What else you got? Get the force to get the plushie to the target. Okay, we can't move it because it's just right there. So we could try, but you can't move the cannon on this round. Right. Hopefully this will work. Oh, too much force! Too much force! Oh, so close! 
if you use less force? Yep, I was thinking the same thing, Ruff. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna hit it. Alright. Made it in! Set the force to get the plushie to the target. Okay, let's try this on 10, let's try 30, 40. Nope, oh, too much force. Oh, so close! Too oh, much force. The went past the target. Yes. Let's try back down to 30. That should do it right there. Right in the middle. You used just the right amount of force to push the plushie to the target. Just let's enough. Do another. Yeah, let's do a few more, alright? What will that patch of sand do to the plushie? Hmm. It's it would slow it down a lot. Try moving the slider. You can't move the cannon on this round. Okay. Looks like that'll do it. Bullseye. You used just the right amount of force to push the plushie to the target. Sweet. Tap on the stars, you think the plushie will hit. It's locked in at 30, so... Nope. Well, looks like you were right about some of those stars. Yep, only two of them hit. So... We know that the only is going to go past two stars now. There you go. That's your prediction. Good one. Let's do one more. Which stars will the plushie hit? Oh. Mm, this one. This one. Maybe this one. Well, looks like you were right about some of those stars. Yep. So now we know it only hit these two. Yep. Hey, that was fun, Ruff, but we gotta get out of here, alright? We'll see you later. Bye. Well, I want to thank you all for watching another fun and informative episode of The Rob Corley Show. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, this is Rob Corley signing out saying, Good night, everybody.